This one's for the boys, only on the R3 podcast. <laughs> guys, we're, guys, we're here. Guys, we're here. This is a blast from the past. I'm. Uh, you're listening to Radio Ridley Radio, and I'm your host, Michael Ridley, and I'm joined by our guest, one of my day one homies. Yes, sir. One of my very first brothers in this comedy game. I'm talking, as far as this guy and our relationship and our history, I might as well have gone to Vietnam with this motherfucker, yeah. dude. This is, well, this is one of my day one homies. If you're from, if you're from the Florida comedy scene, all you all you comedians out in Florida, and you've met me, you've probably subsequently heard this man's name. <laughs> Our guest, one of my very good friends from the very beginning, crucial to my uh, crucial to my upbringing in comedy, my brother Rudy Malumba. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Fuck yeah, fucking dude. radio, Ridley Radio. Thank you. Guys. I don't know what which camera to look at. The, but, uh, that one's yours. That one. Hey, what's up, guys? And this one's mine. I appreciate you. So we get our own. I gotta say, I appreciate you saying that, buddy. Well, uh, yeah, I feel the same way. Uh, it, I think we've been through a lot together. This shit is crazy. <laughs> the timelines. Yeah. This timeline rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where we're sitting right here, right now, doing this. Yeah. In the city that we're in. Yeah. For the same reason, we're in the same Fuck, city. Man. Yeah, dude. Bro, we travel. You traveled the world, <laughs> and it's, it's, this is just the beginning. This is yeah. as crazy as that. For how long we've known each other. We're still in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. I think you're a lot further ahead than, than me. Not to whatever, but, I mean, you you kept doing it. I took, like, a, a little break. I, hey, you know, when you were taking but, a break, yeah. I was still doing it, but I was still taking a break up here. Mentally, you were kind of taking was, a break. Yeah, because it was getting rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, if we go back to our hometown, yeah. I haven't heard the best things. I've heard, like, you know, it's mm-hmm. it's a little dry. Oh, yeah. I feel I feel like I've heard it. I've, people have been telling me, it's like, man, it's... It's almost it's it was almost better before you left. Oh, really? It's dried up, man. And that's That's the, what I hear too. I hear it's dried up and I, But I, I only hear from people who've moved away. So like mm-hmm. I don't know about the well, I, I think there's one other comic I really talked to who's there still. And yeah, he doesn't have the best things to say, but it's not that bad yet for him. No, no, no. It's good. I We're from know. Virginia. Virginia, Hampton Roads. 757. Okay. You know? Two young dudes. I'm telling you. Driving around in a in a 13 Sonata. We had, yeah, the 2013 Sonata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that brought back memories. Yeah, that 13 Sonata. I actually remember. So there, there was a time I, I was thinking about this this week. We, you, you and I were at a mic. There yeah. was a crazy lady there. She yeah. was being loud and she was cool. Stupid, I know exactly right? who you're talking about. And she went up. She did comedy and yeah. she was like just yelling at people and yeah. all this and all that. She got kicked out because she was too drunk. Uh huh. And at that time, we were all standing outside the club and uh-huh. she got kicked out. And she was like, kiss my ass, kiss my ass. Uh-huh. And then I go, uh, can we see your ass? <laughs> hey, we're just she... doxing ourselves on this one right <laughs> Oh, no, Jesus. We told her, yeah. You I weren't w- there. I was there. You're, but, just, uh, you're drunk, too. She's yeah, drunk. Yeah, yeah. Like, we all drunk. <laughs> she, yeah, show your ass. And the lady, what What did she do? She, she mooned us. Yeah, she did moon us. And I still remember uh, a tampon string. No one oh. else saw this but me. But I'm telling you, she was wearing a dress. I don't she know who like, wears a dress and a tampon like, uh, string, but. She was like some drunk Israeli lady, yeah. And she had pulled up. Free Palestine. It, she uh, she pulled up and she did her thing on stage, right? She heckled everybody all night, the whole time. <laughs> but she would refer to us. I remember when we were standing out front talking to her. She would refer to us as our race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She would call, it, but she did it wrong. She, would, I guess, she would call you African. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She would just say African to you, and then uh-huh. Chinese. She'd yeah. call me Chinese. Yeah, for sure. And I remember that lady being like, "Eat my ass, African." <laughs> And suck my titties, Chinese. <laughs> suck my titties. Oh, and then we had a young autistic comic. I'm not gonna drop his name, but PJ. He was a young, yeah, he was a young boy, and she was a like, young tussleable boy. Yeah, she was like curling his, uh, twirling his hair on her fingers and shit, and she was drunk. And then she inevitably leaves. This bitch hops in a 2004 like convertible Mustang and just peels out of the oh, drive. <laughs> she just peels out of the parking <laughs> lot, dude. Yeah, that's a cool shit you would see at open mics. It was just so fun. A, so she, you were she. I remember she would she grab my head and like shove my face in her boobs. Really? Oh that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was she was like, flashing everybody. She she took she took both her hands and fucking gripped my shit <laughs> and just shoved them into her boobs and was like, "Suck my titties, Chinese." And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Okay." I was like, yeah, "What? Dude. 20, 22, 23 or something?" Yeah. God, I was young. I was a young buck, dude. I've only been stand up for like a year or two yeah. when that happened. I remember there was one time you you were uh, very well known around the city. 
Yeah. Uh, this one time, me and, a, and another comic were walking into the mic. You were in there. Uh, you were inside the mic. I guess you had signed up or whatever. Okay. There was a. Uh, this is again. It's in really. It's relatively rural Virginia. There was an older white man who walked out and said, "I can't be in there tonight." And then we asked him why. He said, "There's too many Chinese in there." <laughs> and uh, and and then we what? were like, "What the fuck?" Right. So we <laughs> we walk in. It's only me. It's you and and another comic, a Korean guy. Uh, I'll say his name, Brian Shelsby. You and Brian Shelsby were oh, in there. Oh, yeah. So too many Chinese to him was a, oh, Fili- a half-white Filipino person and a Korean guy. Yeah. It was uh, it was good stuff. Uh, I don't know. It was just it's weird. It's a weird time. Yeah. Do you remember the hardest you killed? Uh, right? This is an interesting line of questioning, I know. Yeah. But But back then, and then if you compare that to now, like, you know what I mean? Do you think... Oh yeah, it's, God, what, it's, it's all feeble. Question. All of it's feeble. Do you remember having like a really good night back then? Like, like yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah. like twenty, thirty people <clears throat> where we were at, and yeah, did okay. I guess my point is, a lot of times when you're really new and stuff, you you might do really well. It feels exciting. It feels great. It's but a, there's you, a lot more because well, here's the mm-hmm. thing: in the beginning, you don't really you're still figuring it out. So if, even if it relatively, even if it's like relatively similar to what you envision in your mind. Mm-hmm. Versus what actually happened, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, this is great. Yeah, you, you, those those growth landmarks are sooner. Yeah. But now we're now we're just old young bucks. We're old young bucks. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But it's still the beginning. So it's like yeah. you're at an experience level where the leveling is further down the line. Mm-hmm. You have to crank out more XP to get those levels. In the yeah. beginning, you can hit level 5. <laughs> you you hit level 9 within your first year. You're like, oh, man. Oh, I'm learning all these new things, all yeah. these new skills. I'm unlocking shit in the skill tree. You yeah. know, the little comedy, <laughs> yeah. the stand-up comedy skill tree. You're like, you're getting those things. You're like, bloop, bloop, bloop. I did a callback. Bloop, bloop, yeah. bloop. I learned <laughs> yeah. how to, you know what I mean? I, I kept a whole... I kept a whole theme for an entire set, and then I opened it the same way, and I closed it. And yeah. it's like, oh, whatever, writing opening joke, writing closing joke. All those little skill tree things, they can start filling up fast. Yeah. Everything's uncharted territory. And yeah, then so you're now you're like, just cranking out material with all your skills, and you're yeah. just working it and out. And it doesn't feel as good. Working it out. Working it out. Yeah. Well, that's, it's you know, it doesn't. you're used to it, I guess. You're used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love it. Also, I think on a, another end for me right now is knowing how well I can do. Mm-hmm. Knowing what I'm knowing my potential and then not meeting that i feel like that shit is a bummer yeah or you're always chasing the high and now i know what some some of the highest highs feel like yeah so i'm just chasing that and trying to replicate that and it's like nah man that's not the reality sometimes you get a fucking sometimes there's a fire crowd dude sometimes it's just a fucking everything is right Mm -hmm. sometimes every fucking little aspect is right you had a chill ass day Mm. you're like feeling good you had a couple of good sets earlier that week yeah and then there's a big ass showcase, and there's like 200 people out there, and yeah. you're like, "What the?" F-? And they're hot, yeah. And you only live 10 minutes away, and it's a fucking <laughs> dude, and it's Austin, Texas, dude. Like, yeah. all the bullshit, yeah, all the bullshit we went through. For me, where I'm at, being here for only a year, dude, what a journey it's been. It's yeah. all worth it. Fuck all yeah. the bullshit was worth it, because yeah. now I'm just, dude, I'm in it. Yeah. And dude, you're here. You're dude. visiting. And I'll you're say like, this, dude. You're gonna see, dude. It's fucking sick. Here. Oh my god! I mean, just just the last few, uh, just I mean, the entire day I spent here so far has been fucking eye, eye opening. All the clubs are still closed. I, yeah. I, I think they're probably open now, but mm-hmm. it's. Good. I will, I'll say this though. I I I kind of come at it from a different <laughs> spot a little bit because I feel like I went where I where we started. I learned how to do it the wrong way same right i'm grateful for so that so now you're kind of unlearning all that shit but it's like you needed that experience to know that this isn't how you do it you, you know what i mean like and so uh i'm getting used to like just the uh the boring part of doing comedy which is sitting showing there in up. the room showing up was is part yeah. of it and also yeah forcing yourself to get the ideas out failing with them and mm-hmm. like the more you fail with them, the more you fuck around with different ideas, the the better the ideas get. The more like you put into it, the the better the joke eventually gets. But there's mm-hmm. a lot of mundane work <laughs> and a lot of like really yeah. painful. Yeah, and a lot of it a lot of it is the shit off stage. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the work is just being off stage. Like what are you doing in your free time? Exactly. Are you pouring energy into writing, are you? Yeah. And you know what? I have. I'm going to. 
Mm. I, I'm going to, and I have, especially this year. Because I'm like, damn, I wonder how much more work. Because mm. it's already been a year. I have a gauge of how much I can accomplish in a year. Oh, yeah. For my first year, a lot of accomplishments. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, dude. Fucking uh, cool everywhere I go. Everybody knows me and yeah. gets spots. Man, dude, August, I did like 17. August this past year, I did like 18 spots in one month. Jesus. There was one night where I did four spots mm. in one night on a Saturday. It was 7.30 and 8.30 and 9.30 and then on 11. Really? And then fucking wrapped it up and went home. And Jesus. And then, then uh, you know, then you get your little, your Venmos ringing the next yeah, morning and you're yeah, like, yeah. yo, that's crazy. I just cleared a smooth little chunk of change and got <laughs> and got to do like 45 minutes last yeah, night. Yeah, for sure. I did my, I did a 10 minute set four times mm-hmm. or, you know what I mean? Damn. And it's like, you get a little 10 minute spot or they give you a little 15 minute and that's, it's cool. Mm-hmm. It's good here for that. And there's, dude, there's so many fucking people here. Mm-hmm. Thank God, God blessed, um. God blessed that Chinese guy that ate that bat yeah. in China and started COVID, which inevitably inspired Joe Rogan and all these famous comedians to move to Austin. Yeah. God, God bless that holy virus yeah. that created. Yeah, shout uh, out COVID for yeah. changing my life. You know? <laughs> shout out to um, <laughs> shout out to Stop Asian Hate. Yeah, shout out to the Kung Flu. Yeah. Um, Stop Asian hate is the reason why I found out about Austin. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> was it for was it for Stop Asian? Was hate? it going on here a lot? Like a lot, a lot of Asians were being hated. Uh, no, but um, a comic. It was around Tony Hinchcliffe's cancellation where I oh, yeah. found out about Austin and Kill Tony and all yeah. stuff. I was like, this is awesome. And then I saw the clip of what got him canceled. Yeah. And I was like, that's nothing. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. What is, what is, like this is what is that fucking? I'm from Virginia. I yeah, used to hear that kind of play. shit every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, how's this harmless? This isn't fucking. <laughs> and now we're here, it. so it's all good. Killing You're me. here, yeah, man. Dude, we separated for a bit. We started together, then you moved to Florida. Yeah, man. I was yeah. in Virginia for a long time, and then yeah. like halfway through my entire time being in Virginia's comedy scene, halfway about halfway through, you moved to uh, Orlando. Yeah. And you're fucking, you met all my friends that lived here, that yeah. moved here from Florida. Yeah. And now you're here. Yeah, now I'm here. And now you're in my podcast studio. <laughs> yeah. Doing my podcast that's named after the first podcast I ever did with you. Uh, uh, radio Free Radio, yeah. Yeah, yeah I can't yeah. find any of it on YouTube. It's all, it's been scrubbed. Really? Yeah, I, I can't find any of it either. I think some of, some of the episodes we did were pretty fire. I'm not going to lie. I've done what I'm saying. <laughs> I want to yeah. see 720p. Recording footage of oh, us smoking worse. blunts in a garage. <laughs> yeah. We were smoking blunts in a garage on some Baba Booey ass shit, great. dog. We yeah. were on some fucking on, Howard Stern level quality. We on had live a- TV. We're all smoking blunts. Yeah. And uh, there, there was a fun moment. It was streamed live? Uh, no, it actually wasn't oh. live. They, they had a radio feed, so they, the audio mm. was live, so they couldn't see us. And then I think they actually, for some of the videos, they edited us smoking the blunts out. No. Oh. So... Shout out to them. We would smoke so much weed in there, the guys would ask us not to because it was gunking up the computers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one guy. Oh, they hated us for a second. That guy was like, hey, uh, can we uh, maybe stop with the smoking? I'm just, I cleaned out all the fans and the computers, and they're just like gunked up with blunt tar. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're right. We probably are just destroying all your equipment, just ble- <laughs> fucking Dutch masters smoke the, into the, the fucking computer. The shit we could find, yeah. Yeah, it was great, man. I don't know. What did you guys do on that podcast? Who knows? The, I used to get drunk. I know that. That's all it was. Oh. The, so I would get drunk on that motherfucker. The concept was just around, because like this, we do open mics all the time. There's some mics that have cool like patios or cool like green room where we just go back there and talk shit. So the idea was we'll bring that to a radio show and we'll do like a comedian roundtable of random topics. But the only thing is we never, I never prepared for any of it. So I basically would show up there and go, what do you guys want to talk about? And then no one. Wow. And that's crazy because that's exactly what we do <laughs> oh, here at Radio yeah. Ridley Radio. Well, I don't here's ever the thing, have though. anything planned. I just, you know what I mean? We tap in and we try to find that find that little, you know what I'm saying? Well, back then, the topic would always degenerate to dick. We'd oh, always end up good. talking about, you know, here it's not a, even p- vaginas, just penises. We do that a lot here. You yeah, guys do d- that yeah, too? Yeah, just turgid, dick jokes hard and, fucking, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've literally looked at... Uh, it's my favorite kind of penis. We've we've literally looked at, like, fantasy dildos on the pod. <laughs> like, three different times. Hell yeah, dude. Like, three different... And I was like, yo, we're doing a lot of... It's like dildos, vapes, uh, gay jokes. It's all trash, <laughs> really. It's it, Honestly, but we got a good... 
we got a good fan base. I, I get yeah. got about a hundred and fifty people who are like posted up and fucking that shit, dude. fucking IV dripped right Shout in. Shout out to them. Yeah. Man. Shout out to you guys. Plugged in. Hell yeah. You're fucking. We're 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 mentally connected right now. Yeah, we wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you. You're consuming the media. Keep going. I'm proud of you. Thank you guys. It's 2024. Hell yeah. This is a first Radio Ridley of 2024, y'all. Damn. God, time flies when you're having fun. I'm, sure I'm high as shit. Are you? I ate an edible this morning. Did you? <laughs> a little evil purple ass motherfucker, dude. Damn, dude. Straight up in the cuss, son. How long does that last in your system? I had that shit at like 10 in the morning this morning. Damn. I've had, dude, I, I took a fat ass nap. I lived a whole nother life, dude. Yeah. I was in a different realm. <laughs> I just ate me some fucking tacos that Taylor brought. You brought some tacos. You got Taylor Tony and this motherfucker. You met those guys, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Cool dudes. I, I remember uh, my, my sister called me one time. She So I, I've never taken an edible. I'm a little scared, too. Uh, <laughs> I'm pussy. In case you guys are wondering. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah. But my, my sister accidentally took edibles one time. I don't know if it was indica or whatever, but she was freaking out like all day, uh, right? And Oh, then, it's a nightmare. Yeah. She, she called me. And she said, uh, I, I, I called to check on her. I was like, you know, how are you doing? And then she just said, Rudy, uh, I can see the devil. <laughs> and then she hung <laughs> up on me. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the next thing, the next day, she went to an emergency room. We just got a call from her husband saying, yeah, she wasn't, she was out of it. Hey, man, they're a slippery slope. I'm going <laughs> to tell you that right now, Ruta Bob, Ruta Bega. You remember that guy? Ruta Bega? No, you remember Ruta Bob? No. Was he uh, like a comic? He was a yeah. I'm sorry, I'm fucking name dropping. Yeah, it's okay, dude. But he was um. He, yeah, Rudabob, David Rudabob. Oh yeah, yeah remember man. that guy? That was like the hometown junkie. I've been doing this for a long time, oh, man. My God. It, that's the crazy thing is, like, there's so many. I come to Austin, <laughs> and there's like six of those dudes here. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. It's like sure. all the stuff in your in the first scene. You're like, oh, it's. It's extrapolated when you go to a bigger scene. Always, it, it, yeah. it's always, and and there's more. It's more stratified where you have like the really good people up top, and then a shit ton of awful people. <laughs> dude, every dude, <laughs> everybody in this scene for the most part, pretty fucking nice. Yeah, and like if you're funny, dude, they'll fuck with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not. I'm so. I'm not used to that. Yeah, right. I'm used yeah. to where we're from. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's like, hey, you're funny, dude. We gotta make sure nobody knows. Yeah, <laughs> like, we're gonna, we gotta, yeah. We gotta do everything we can to make sure this kid is not known to be funny. We're also gonna give you a really hard time just for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Instead of like <laughs> fucking being like, yo, this kid's yeah. got the shit. It's we're this gonna kid's put a lot of sh- obstacles in your way. Yeah, but it's good um, because I would still be there. Yeah. That's the thing, bro. Like if. If the places you've been were embracing and gave you everything you wanted, you wouldn't be where you're at right now. Yeah. And, like, yeah. if I try to sit down 20-year-old me and be like, listen, one day um, you're going to get a, a a check in your name from a comedy club that's owned by Joe Rogan. <laughs> and 20-year-old drunk-ass me is going to be like, who are you? <laughs> I'll be oh, yeah. like, I don't know. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, stop jerking even, off to me. Yeah, I don't even do stand. Like, why do you look so much like me? I yeah, yeah, you you look like a shittier me, dude. Get yeah. away, fag. <laughs> you know what's so funny? <laughs> Just young me, be like you fucking we- fag, drunk as a bitch. <laughs> you ugly fat fag. Yeah. <laughs> Get away from me, you ugly fat Chinese fag. <laughs> <laughs> this is twenty year old me talking to thirty year old uh, yeah. me, dude. Why? What the fuck? This dude? is non progressive you. Yeah. Saying all this, yeah. Uh, oh, you know, it's funny because because you know a lot of times you go to open mics and you try stuff out and then the, people laughing is a good gauge of who works or not. Dave Rudabob was one of those people where he only laughed when a joke didn't work. That's how you know. Like yeah. this is something you should. You go can. to you go to a mic and you start working <laughs> out some shit and you would hear this dude laughing in the background. It would be like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You'd be yeah. like, "God, ah, get my gun!" Hell yeah, shoot this motherfucker. Interesting dude. guy. He still fo- he still follows me on the, on the socials. I don't know. Shout out to you. A lot of crazy. A lot of crazy. Uh, I met a lot of crazy folk. We did a lot of shitty shows. You remember when we, we would drive forever? Yeah, we uh, we did a, we did a lot of shows. Uh, we did one in Richmond. Were you there that night in Richmond? We almost got beat up. 
No. Oh, you went there that night. Tell me the story of the time you went to Richmond, Virginia, and yeah. did some stand up. What was this, like 2014? This was a, yeah, this was no, 2015. Yeah, this was, was like a 20... rinky dink fucking show. It was actually, okay, this is the interesting thing. It, it was, was actually, a show in the hood. It was a show in the hood. Yeah. And it was supposed to be a memorial show. Somebody died. Somebody died. <laughs> what and they're the like, fuck? you know what? Let's uh, let's do a get comedy Rudy, show let's get with this, locals. Let's get this big old African yeah. dude in here to make everybody laugh. Let's yeah. Get yeah. Hey, big titted African guy. <laughs> yeah, get the African, be a star. Get the African boy with them big titties in here and make everybody <laughs> laugh. Fucking pee pee yeah. died. That's right. Fucking, you know pee pee. Uh, yeah. yeah. Shireen's son. <laughs> Yeah, he died. So we gonna have this big titty African boy come through and make everybody laugh Hell and shit yeah. like some on some memorial type shit. Hell yeah. Um, so <laughs> we got the white tees. We got the PP white tee. Rest in crazy, peace, dude. PP. <laughs> Rest in peace to my boy PP. All right, continue. It was story. great. That was that was actually what he sounded like. But um, <laughs> so it was it was interesting. We we went there and it was like a bunch of local comics, right? Um. But they gave us all like too much time. The show just went on for too long, right? And it was an all black crowd. Shout out to you know what I mean, my, my, I my those. brothers. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's not a lot of black crowds here. No. Yeah. yeah. Keep going. We'll talk about that next. It's, uh, it's how they keep Austin weird. Keep all the black people out. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm all right. Nah, that's good. <laughs> Cause you ain't lie. There are no black folk here. I miss making black people laugh. But yeah, you, you yeah. guys like uh Yeah, there's a memorial show. We show up, people we, we got too much time, the crowd was getting restless. Uh I went up and I, I just ate dick the entire time. Because, like, you know, black people are really good at the dozens. So it's like it sucks when you're trying to tell a joke and they're 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 basically doing the dozens on you. That's that's how it was for five minutes. So I, I, at one point I, I was like, Okay, crowd work maybe is gonna help. There was a black woman in the front there eating wings. So I was making fun of her, the way she was eating wings. Classic. Was, the whole thing. I went for the dick joke. She probably eats wings the way she sucks dick. The Ooh. whole thing. It was, you know, it was touch and go. It certainly didn't work. And then. That's somebody's auntie. Exactly, right? So so then I I just, I bombed and then I, I, I said I was done and I and I, I got off stage. Yeah. So I was outside uh, kind of just salting my wounds. Uh, some uh, uh, big black dude comes out. He comes directly to me. With his hands clenched Ooh. and says, What the fuck did you say to my mama? Whoa, you told his mom that she sucks dicks the way she eats wings. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like a high offense. In it, the it, it is, yeah. It's a high offense in the black community. Because you're not supposed to use teeth dude. that much. But, <laughs> like, yeah, but that's kind of how it was. <laughs> but, so yeah, like, and, and so the guy was ready to fucking scrap, dude. I, yeah. I was done. And I, and I, I wasn't going to fight back. No. So this is going to be like a, like a jail rape. But with fists, <laughs> yeah, basically. So you're about to get fisted. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, and love it. Um, but so then the security guard, luckily, was there, and he had to talk this guy down and basically say these guys are comedians. So he, so he was like the the voice you know, of reason. The voice of reason, man. And you know they just fucking around. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. like you know they just fucking around, man. Why? Don't take take <laughs> yeah. everything they say with a grain of salt. They comedians. Yeah. Man. Why can't we all get along? Yeah, that was good. Oh wait, that was the wrong speech. That's good that there was a dude there. Yeah, I was so lucky. Uh, and then eventually the guy said, "Listen, man. Honestly, we've been through a lot, and I shouldn't have come at you like that. But, 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 whatever." And I was like, "Yes, sir. You're right." And immediately we left. So there was another comedian because we were getting like a lot of uh, uh, heckles thrown at us. Yeah, you know this guy. I don't want to. It's shout fine. Uh, Tyrell Shackelford, but Tyrell, my well, yeah, one I of my Tyrell. very good friends. Yeah, another He's one another of the guy. best men in my wedding. Dude. Oh, was he? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, dude. My invitation got lost in the mail. Yeah, but sorry. uh <laughs> yeah it's all good but uh i was in another town but he he went up and he ate shit too and yeah and at the end of his set he was getting booze yeah and like and and whatever and you know it's funny you guys are like the two whitest black dudes i know we're the wrong did, people for the job yeah you didn't do you know what i mean yeah like you guys are you guys aren't i wouldn't call you you guys are the whitest black people i know <laughs> yeah. put me in there <laughs> yeah. Put me because they put me in there and be like, man, that Chinese motherfucker hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, miss uh, those shows because of that. Is, uh, the black comedy crowd is electric, and Damn. if you're sucking dick, if you're eating shit, boy, yeah. nobody is gonna be shy to let it be known. Yeah. Man, get this motherfucker off stage. Hey, this motherfucker suck. Hey, bro, this motherfucker some ass. Yeah. You fucking dude. Yo, my retarded will... cousin funnier than this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, they'll so. fucking tell you. They don't have that here in Austin. Well, Tyrell went up. He was bombing, and then he was like, "This crowd sucks." Go oh, fuck he lashed yourselves. out. Yeah, he lashed out. You guys are bitches. He, all, he, was, he, was, he was insulting him. Yeah. And then he says, you, if you have a problem with that, my name is Tyrell Shackelford, and I live at, and he said his full address. Nice. And then he went off stage. That, what, a, what a legend. I'm That's telling hilarious. you, dude. And, and that actually got laughs. Before. You remember? Heard, yeah, right? I've heard this story before because he, like, it was, he was like, fuck you, fuck you. And then he turns it around, and he sends <laughs> it, he brings it home. Yeah. And everyone's great. like, what the hell? Yeah, man. He went from, like, hate fucking to... To turning the tide. Oh yeah, because that actually got laughs at the end. Yeah, because it was real. Because it was real. Yeah. Because once it, once it's real, then they're like, yeah, I like this shit. Absolutely. Like authenticity is rewarded with a black comedy crowd. Yeah. They don't want to hear no bullshit. Man, black black crowds will you if you get at least one solid laugh from a black crowd, it'll make you want to reevaluate the way you do comedy. Because I feel like Crushed if you can harder. do that, then you'll be like, I'm gonna write much funnier jokes. Yeah. I'm also God, gonna, dude, you got you, dude. Yeah. I used to crush, dude. <laughs> I tell you right now, I miss a black crowd so much. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, dude, if I'm in a, I'm, dude. If I'm in a, if I'm doing a show in Austin, I see like six to eight black people in the crowd. Yeah. The brothers. Oh my God, I get, I get lit up. Oh, do you? I'm fucking excited. Yeah. I'm so happy. Because yeah. I already know they're gonna fuck with me. I mean that that is kind of what I want to win them over first. I want them. I want the black laughs only. I uh, I really, uh, and I think that's being in Newport News, I think helped. Growing up where we grew yeah, doing stand-up you where know. we started. Because even though I am one of the whitest black guys of all time, I actually, like, I enjoy that too. I like kind of performing from black audiences and stuff. And, like, um, you know, I can kind of maintain my authenticity but still say some real shit to them. And that's something I'm kind of, like, playing around with a lot more. And it feels good, man, when you really – you say some shit to make a like a a good black audience laugh, dude. It feels fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like chasing the dragon. He knows a lot about dragons. <laughs> He's Asian. Yeah, I they, I know a lot about dragons. So. <laughs> Thank you, Reef. Thank you for that. Thank you for. Listen, if you need racism, in. I'm your guy. Hell yeah. You know, uh, that's kind of one of those things. I'm, but. I miss it, dude. Yeah. I miss some aspects of it. Of uh, being on in uh, Virginia. Yeah, yeah. I do miss Virginia sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't hate it, but I definitely uh it's funny because it was a point of my stand up where I was like, God damn, dog. Like this is it. Here's the thing about Virginia versus Austin. In Virginia I had more fun from a sense of like from an aspect of it's never gonna happen. So I can just have fun. Oh, yeah. Dude, me too. Just, I'm just not to cut you off. I feel the same way. And that's why I say, like, it's I learned fun how to because, do it the yeah, wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You learned Because we were having fun doing this shit. Dude. I, I remember I was hosting a show one time, drinking, laughing, having a good time, genuinely having a lot of fun. Another comic comes in and he's like, Rudy, are you hosting? I was like, yeah. He goes, what are you doing? You're <laughs> supposed to be working. And I have, like, a, I'm double fisting beers and I'm calling a guy a fag, you know, the whole thing. But, but yeah, like, you know, I, I wasn't working. Uh, nah. that, that's that's how you're that's, supposed yeah, to kind of look it, at it. That's it's, what I'm saying. It's, it's not all fun. Like it's you know it is fun, but it's not all like games and shit. But anyway, I didn't even cut you off. But it's like a. It couldn't happen. So you're like, oh yeah, I can just have fun. Yeah. And now it's like it can happen, and I'm trying to have fun knowing that it can happen. Mm -hmm. It can happen here, dude. Yeah. This is a, this is the field of this is the field of dreams right now, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You're in a fucking comedy. In a comedy gold mine, everybody's rushing, dude. This yeah. is the manifest destiny, Austin, Texas. It's all the, all the. I feel like there's so many people from all over the country, right? Yeah. They're like, well, a little bit more opportunity, or you know what I mean. And everybody came here for more opportunity. Yeah. And I'm fucking finding it. These people rule. Austin rules. There ain't no black people, but yeah, it's I do get right paid now. work, and there's a bunch of people. It's and then there's some right. there, and then sometimes there are black people there. Yeah. And they love me. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm uh, I'm lucky to have uh, experienced the scene on Virginia, then go out to Orlando, right. which is a killer scene. I mean, there's a reason why so many Orlando comics are here now. Yeah, because, because y'all Florida shit had was really it. top heavy. Like, like Florida like, had the sauce. Dude. Yeah, everybody everybody who's come, everyone I've met from Florida that's moved to Austin is a fucking. They killers. make me laugh. Yeah, they're killers. And there's more coming. Like it, yeah. it's it's really uh, and so I'm proud of that. But I so I experienced that. And that helped me when I was restarting to really push 
more than I, I was. You know what I mean? Like in Virginia, I just don't think I was challenging myself. It wasn't really a thing about the environment. Maybe the environment played a, a role in it, but I wasn't really uh, uh, pushing myself like I should have. When I when I went out to Orlando, I was like, these motherfuckers are all funny, and I mean they're all a problem. So I have to figure out a way to keep up with them. And so now I feel like I'm in a better position if I am to move anywhere else. People get you good know? if you're surrounded by people who are good, you'll get good. Yeah, at man, it. still it, sharp and still. We we did open mics with fucking with Cam, dude. He, like we, we, he was just there at mics. I mean, he destroyed all of us. But it's like when when you're performing with someone that great and who's that new. Uh, yeah, man, it makes you want to really push yourself, dude. And so I'm definitely very, see him every cool. week on yeah. on Kill Tony. Yeah, they people killing shit, find dude. people. Well, no, I'm saying we they find people every week. Some yeah. fucking dude. There's always somebody. Yeah, there's yeah. always somebody. Yeah, that fucking rise to the occasion and crush. Yeah, Hell and yeah, I love man. that part. I love that part. Yeah, damn. So we're fucking. I'm excited for 2024 though. Just looking at how much progress your boys made. Mm-hmm. And then I can't even like, I'm trying to fathom where I'll be in 40. 20, 40. It, well, yeah, well, no, when at I'll be at age old. 40. Because, yeah. like, when I started, I was 20. Yeah. And now I'm 30, and it's like we're just now getting into a scene. Yeah. Like a, like an actual comedy scene. Because the first scene, you know what I mean? It's like time trial. We got all the bullshit. Yeah. It was like a trial period where we got through all the bullshit, the do's and the don'ts. Mm -hmm. You figure out your do's, your don'ts, what you should be doing, fucking yeah. how you should uh, seize your opportunities. Not that many – uh. Not that many booked gigs in Virginia, dude. This is the most booked. This last year is the most paid comedy I've done. My oh entire. yeah, dude. Like yeah. every week for the last year. Yeah. There's been, I've had at least two or three shows, like almost every week for the last year. Do you do you count your sets? No, I'm you gonna do that this year. I haven't sure. gotten a set in yet. Okay. This is crazy. I'm like, oh yeah, cause but I was also right just fucking deadly sick. I was yeah. deathly sick for like a fucking week. How many sets do you think you did this year? If you had to estimate sets, it? maybe yeah. probably like, probably like two hundred. Two hundred. Okay. I like yeah. two hundred sets. Yeah, which is which is good. Two hundred sets in a year. Yeah. How much time do you think you did per set? The average. You know. Eight to eight to, eight to fifteen minutes. Eight to fifteen minutes. Yeah. It's About two hundred sets. Yeah. 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 It's good, dude. Yep. Your boys, you, I was drinking. Oh, I was drinking yeah. heavy. I don't drink yeah. no more. Yeah, I don't fucking drink anymore. You were drinking out here. I didn't know that. Huh? You were drinking here. Uh, when I first visited, I fucking got drunk. I dude, we got drunk as fuck. So I'm like, I saw a guy get his ass whooped in an alleyway. I was oh. out here with my boys from Virginia. And we got drunk as a bitch. <laughs> and you just watched. Yeah, I drove. You're like, damn, yeah, it's a shame yeah, that guy's getting car. his we're ass whooped. We're going to the car. Yeah, yeah, we're going to the car. I'm drunk. I'm like peak drunk. It's like 1:48 in the morning on Sixth Street. This is time to it's time to leave. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to be on Sixth Street Not at like 1:45 to 2 2:10 in the yeah, morning. Yeah, because he's gonna whoop that guy's ass. Then that's next. when all the demons come out of the bars. Yeah, Every, that's when everybody who didn't get in the ass is coming out into the street and they're like, "I didn't get pussy. Let's kill somebody." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't get pussy. Let's go beat the shit out of somebody. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get pussy. Let's go. Let's go fight some other guys who didn't get pussy. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're trying. I'm trying. Yeah. Hopefully the women understand that you're the reason for all this violence. Yeah. So give that pussy up. If there, yeah. Imagine like, <laughs> you know, imagine. The the better. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> imagine two groups of dudes duking it out, and then like, out of nowhere, a bunch of bitches come out and just start jerking everybody bro, off. It's like, hey, world oh, peace, bro. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just fucking. Dude. And then immediately he looks at the guy. He goes, "I'm so sorry, dude. I'm I didn't sorry, mean dude. To, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. They're both getting hand jobs. Yeah. Like, dude, they're like, my dude, bad. Dude, <laughs> solid, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know what you came know? over me, dude. Yeah. These Mexican bitches came out, started stroking everybody yeah. off, dude. I, I got a clear head now. Honestly, dude. man, long day. You know what I'm saying? You guys need to get an Uber. Yeah, you should you get new. Okay? I don't think anybody should be driving. Honestly. <laughs> They all have post not yeah. clarity immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody just fucking. Yeah. Did eat. you eat today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, here's a couple of bars for you. You know, peace. That's all it is, bro. Just a nice fucking cum explosion. It really does. All right. Chill people out. There. I'm all sorry, right. I, that went over the line. Yeah, I know. The I'm grateful. Hopefully they they get that. Well, I'm grateful to have you here, dude. Yeah, man. I'm I'm super grateful to have you. And it's like no, not to have you. Cause I'm what is your perception? Shit. What is your perception? Because we ha we didn't we haven't seen each other for six years, and you six come years. visit Austin, your boy, <laughs> your boy, dude. In a What's, lavish fucking studio. You how's know the what I'm yeah, dude? And, uh, you know what I mean? To pick you no, up. No, dude. I'll be very. So first of all, I I have messages 
Yeah. Because we contacted a few times, well, you know, a number of times actually after I moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. were still in Virginia and all that. I remember back in 2018, you were kind of having a rough time and you were like, fuck, man, it sucks and blah, 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 whatever. And I, I told you, dude, you're wasting your time in Virginia, dude. Yeah. You got to move yeah. somewhere else. Like, in my, in my opinion, like, I think there's so many great comics out there still who I think are stuck. And I feel bad for them, and I feel like that's they, everywhere in the country. Though there's somebody who's, uh, you know, there's point. there's dope comics out there. They're just, yeah. you know, they're stuck in. They, you know what I mean? It's up to yeah. you. Do you want to be the big fish in the little in pond? The little pond. And now it's it's nice, dude. It's yeah. nice seeing funny ass motherfuckers are getting motivated. Yeah, I mean, but the whole the the thing with being a small fish in the the big fish in a small pond is, I mean, the point of all this is to get comedy work. So it's like. There's a ceiling with how much you can get if you're in, in a, that like area. A small yeah, town, you, you want your I mean? ceiling. Like, yeah, I wanted yeah, so, to heighten the ceilings yeah, a little bit. Your if boy, you're gonna do this for a living, your boy's neck was hurting, man. I was like, "There's nothing else here for yeah, me. Yeah, dude. There's nothing else here. It's, it's time to go." So, and it was one of the greatest decisions. One of the greatest decisions I've ever made. Well, I'm I'm basically trying to get um, I'm trying to get um, some recognition for that uh, advice I gave you. I, f- I feel like I'm responsible for all your success. Yeah, you are. Am I? <laughs> yeah, I tell people all the time. I, I, I'm so quick to give up all the credit to myself and give it to you. Oh man, I appreciate that shit, dude. <laughs> man, well, when we when we first started, bro, your boy didn't even have a car. Yeah, I was just out here like, yo, let's go, let's go yeah. hit, let's get some stage time. We live ten minutes away from you. You know how bad I wanted. That's crazy that I would. We used to drive like forty five minutes to just do uh, five minutes at a yeah. shitty ass open mic and just go home and be so happy in a fucking uh, in in a in a bowling alley. Yeah, and then I would go I would go do I'll go do showcases here and be like the pops weren't as big as that one time I crushed. <laughs> yeah, there was like eighty to a hundred people at a showcase and I'm like, mm, dude, the pops weren't as big as dude. I'm always like, yeah, man. Comparison is the thief of joy. I'm yeah. always comparing my current experience to previous. Fucking times I went on stage just fucking destroyed. Yeah, it's, dude, it it's was addicting. so. It was so pure back then too. Though. It was we, pure. You didn't know lived, what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, man. Like I remember there, there was a segment of time when I would do, uh, when I would do um, trivia. I hosted trivia. Yeah, you would host and every dude. You're, you know how many <laughs> comics I know that just host trivia. That's all they do. They're like, yo, I, dude, it's, I can fucking slip a one liner in in between right. the fucking. You just sneak material into the trivia yeah, hosting. Man. And, like, yeah. the point of that was just to figure out a way to get jokes out and become a better host or whatever. But you and I you, you and I were there, and then right afterwards we drive to a mic, like, uh, an hour away and do that. Tuesdays we get together, we drive out to another mic, same distance, about an hour away. Wednesday we did that. I mean, all of 2015, that was the year that I told myself that, like, I was just going to try to do every show imag- manageable. Imaginable? Imaginable. Imaginable. Um and yeah, you were right there that year. How long are you here? Uh, I leave on Monday. Monday. There's a lot of there's a lot of time. We go to Black Rabbit. Oh yeah, check oh, yeah. out Black Rabbit. Check out. There, d- yeah, dude. And then you gotta come back too. Yeah, man. So I'm I'm planning on coming back for a week in uh, February. Uh, so hopefully that that'll be good. Go to um and then I'm a, I'm gonna show you an open mic to sign up. I'm gonna help you sign up for an open mic when this yeah, is man. over. Hey, sure. let's hit pause. Your boy's gotta hit. I gotta hit the office right quick. We'll be right back. This is we we'll, we'll we'll be right back with more Radio Ridley Radio. I gotta take a fat ass piss. You heard? Get your finger out of your ass. You're listening to Radio Ridley Radio. Woo! What's happening? I'm back. I'm better than ever. We're putting down another bottle of that H two O, dude. Oh yeah. Good God. Hey. H two O. Mm. Holy shit <laughs> I'm high <laughs> This is the first Radio Ridley radio I've done high And I'm It's uh It's a lot more chill I like it God damn you know? dude Here's You were talking thing. about Trying to get pussy Yeah no I, I uh Yeah Basically The trajectory of my life changed After I did my first open mic You know yeah. what I mean Like I was kind of a miserable uh, Anxious guy and yeah, after I did, <laughs> after I started doing comedy and like it was going okay, I became more motivated. You know, I like same. I I I, I, I tried to look better. I tried to get more pussy. You know, it didn't work, but I tried it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what a dumbass! You're gonna start comedy <laughs> for the pussy. <laughs> yeah, I know, All right? the I did the exact same thing. All the hot open mic. You know, the bad bitches that be at the open mic just waiting <laughs> for you to get off stage. Yeah. To sh- to stroke you in public, yeah, 
Yeah, dude, those were the days. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, all the, all the, the you know, the new fresh fish that yeah, all need the, to all the write bad, with someone. Oh yeah, 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 all the, all the, all the open mic bad bitches, dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember. Yeah, it's like I Good love Amy Schumer. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right, yeah, yeah, I like whatever you like, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean all the horny dudes? <laughs> yeah, it was just literally just a bunch of dudes. Yeah, you know all the bitches that do comedy? You know all the hot bitches that do comedy on, on the open mic level? You know those hot hot scallywags that you would yeah. encounter at a fucking bar show at one in the morning, and you're like, you bombed, and you're six beers deep, and you're like, hey, dude, I might marry this <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's kind of funny. Right? What's funny, too, is that if there is even a remotely attractive girl, they all just get kind of swa- like swarmed by the by yeah. the open mic. Yeah, that's dudes. weird. And they're also not funny. No simps. Uh, I don't be simping for none of that. I'm here. I'm not here to be distracted or to be persuaded. I'm just trying to get these jokes out. Yeah. I'm trying to get these jokes out and leave. <laughs> I'm a. I'm a fucking autistic machine. I'm here to do comedy and leave. <laughs> I'm here. Be gone, woman. I, you cannot. Te- <laughs> be gone, temptress. I will not fall victim to your vagina. Yeah. I'm here to tell jokes. I'm autistic. I'm yeah. a machine. I'm a fucking. I'm a beast. I'm a legend in the making. Yeah, I can't, I can't look can't be, into your chamber of secrets. I can't be sparing my seed. My precious <laughs> autistic comedy. seed. My, yeah, my precious autistic yeah. comedy seed. <laughs> my, uh, you know? I'm, I'm going to do these dick jokes and then go home and build Legos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell yeah. these dick jokes and get a DUI. You heard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to finish my Legos before 11 p.m. Yeah. My mom will yell at me. Yeah, I'm a fucking comedic genius. I live with my parents. I'm 24 <laughs> years old. Yeah. And I drive a 98 Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been just driving a, I've been driving a 1998 Honda Pilot. 347,000 miles. And uh, I'm fucking, I just want to let you know, me and all my boys, we go on tour. And by tour, I mean we go do an open mic that's three and a half hours away. <laughs> the car breaks down. I have to get Venmoed for my dad. We wait for a tow <laughs> truck about eight hours. And then when we get home, we all left with about 15 bucks in a bar tab. We, left, we all got a $15 bar tab. And it was totally worth it. Yeah, going on tour is crazy. <laughs> it's just too real. Yeah, you know, it's wild. You know, we just we just road dogging it, dude. I've been doing stand up for a year and a half. Uh, and we just Jesus drive man. wherever we can tell jokes because yeah. we live in a dry ass part of the country. It's well, juicy yeah. out here, Rudy. Yeah. It's there's juicy. it's there's there's plenty it's like a buffet and there's enough for everybody. Oh yeah. yeah everybody yeah. gets everybody gets their shot here. You're funny, bro. Everybody's <sighs> getting shots here, dude. You know. I was told uh, a lot of the open mics are a little rough. You don't want to do those. Yeah, being <laughs> an open mic comic in Austin is rough, but like when you're uh, yeah. where we're at, it's yeah. pretty it's pretty good for folks like you and me in the yeah. intermediate area where it's like well, you're getting booked on showcases. Like I don't have to go to an open mic, but yeah, they're also kind of hurting me. Going to, to those go to crappy, mics. going to crap, well, going to crappy mics. Yeah. It's kind of like hurting me and making me feel like, oh, this isn't fun. Really. Man. When I see a huge crowd, I'm like nervous. Yeah. Like I'm okay. nervous, like it's an open mic, right? Yeah, yeah. But I'm also like excited that there's people there, and I yeah. can trust myself with that many people there. I can get momentum going and just start getting the pops going. Yeah, just yeah. do my set and then sneak in some new shit. Yeah, yeah. And I've been having so much fun with that, and I'm That's grateful. That's the best case scenario for that because you know what? The, there's people who are watching you. That see and you all the time, and then they see you deviate, and they're like, yeah. "Yo, yeah, that's yo. always cool." It's the that's people like who Easter watch egg. you all the time, the people who like. see you all the time, and then they see you deviate, and they see you work and sneaking in the new shit. For sure, but also the crowd is a better crowd. Like, so they they can if you're trying out something, they're they're they'll they're a better crowd to like react to it and really kind of you can get better pointers from that. Sometimes you go to an open mic and there's like a couple alcoholics there. There's like an ex stripper. The whole thing, like, and and people who are just jaded don't give a fuck. Or other comics. And you're doing your the things you're working on, and they're not reacting to it. You might give up on a joke. That's not good. knowing because you didn't. Yeah, you, you didn't even. I mean? It hasn't been tested. Yeah. Properly, it didn't. It didn't undergo proper testing, so you lose yeah. like that confidence in that material. You're like, this shit. I thought this shit was good. Yeah. You know what I? You know I? I got high and I wrote a bunch of shit. I wrote this down. This is a, my first joke of uh, 2024. Respect. They say you can't polish a turd, but you can buy a pair of Jordans. 
And everybody's going to say, God damn, do you see that turd wearing a pair of Jordans? That's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, dude. is that a turd wearing <laughs> oh, Jordans? That's <yeah. laughs> so fucking stupid. I like what it. The? Yeah, right? I was like, <laughs> you can't polish a turd, but you can cop it some sick J's. And everyone's going to be like, ew. Hey, if we're talking about Joe, do you remember your first joke? Yeah, joke I still tell wrote? it. What, what, which one is What is my first joke? Uh, well, I remember the first joke I saw you do, but I think... Yeah, tell me an old joke of mine. <laughs> oh, wow, this was there's a couple. There was the, the joke about you uh, fucking a, 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 a flashlight. Yeah, and about how it's cr- <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a f- brilliant bit. Uh, you know, it's crazy. Been, uh, yeah. A lot of those. I, so that's a super old joke. The joke's like ten years old. Yeah, I moved here. And there's people with similar aspects oh, of that really? joke. <laughs> so it's like if I if I blow the dust off that flashlight joke, <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna look like I'm biting somebody because oh, okay. it's that there's somebody who's doing that bit, and I feel like damn, I've lost. Yeah, see, but it had a, a fun turn on it because it was. You, you, you might have Tell the joke from your memory because I don't remember it. You have a flashlight. You after work, you're stressed out. You want to go home, relieve that that pressure. So you fuck the flashlight. But then one of your roommates put peanut butter in your flashlight, and you were fucking it. You're like, what the fuck is all this peanut butter on my dick? You know, you didn't know what to do. So then you bought a dog, mm-hmm. and then you ate your dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which is a kill. I'm sorry, dude. That's a hilarious joke. Thank you. Uh, and I mean, and I think like it's, I, I don't know if people do flashlight shit, but no one's doing that. So, I mean. And I, then I ate the dog. I ate the dog, which was uh, Sean Malik. Sean Malik. He's a RIP. old, old friend that passed away and that yeah. we knew, and he did stand up, and he gave me that tag. He's like, you should eat the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He pulled me aside at an open mic that they used to run. And he pulled oh, me aside, man. and he's like, hey, uh, should eat the dog, <laughs> and I'm like fucking 23. I'm like, yeah, I should eat the dog at the end of that joke. Yeah, and then there's of course the other joke you used to do uh, about you know being half white and half Asian. Yeah, I still open with that. Do you still open with that? Yeah, That's a, they love it. Joke. Well, now it's it's evolved into like a whole 10 minute set. Like, oh, okay. It's turned into a whole 10 minute. There's a whole 10 minute set on my racial identity. Yeah, and I think that's where I'm at now is where I can that's take awesome. one joke. And I'm like, well, what's the theme of that joke? Yeah. Then why don't I just write a bunch of material that encompasses that theme? Yeah. And then there's a 10-minute chunk. Yeah. And then write yeah, six yeah. of those, and you got a fucking hour. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all it takes, dude. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. So you're telling me if you write 10 minutes of material six times, you're going to have a goddamn hour, dude? <laughs> yeah. What? 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 <laughs> I wrote one. T- I, I wrote 10 minutes. What? Then I wrote 20 minutes. What? 30 minutes. Yeah. 40 minutes. Stone Cold, but he's a comic. Hell yeah. <laughs> do, Stone do, cold. It a, do it again, but in Louisiana Tire Guy. Man, yeah. don't fuck up. Goddamn, dude, on the boat. Now you write 10 minutes. Now you write another 10 minutes. That's yeah. 20 minutes. Now you write another 10 minutes. That's 30 minutes. <laughs> Yeah. Man, you do that three more times, you got you an hour right there, boy. <laughs> yeah. Do, Man, do, you do that shit like three more times, you don't got you a fucking hour there, boy. <laughs> welcome to, welcome to, my name's Lucky, welcome to Lucky's Comedy. <laughs> welcome to Lucky's Comedy Clash, about $450 a week. You can learn all the secrets. You can learn all the oh, secrets man. of the business. Come on, y'all, step up. It's just fucking, dude, do it, it again sounds like those... Beetlejuice. Like, yeah. you went to Beetlejuice's yeah. comedy class. Hey, what's going on there? Got to go. Come on now. He did. I feel like I forget that Beetlejuice sounded like that. Like hey, dude, he really did. Ju- yeah, like that. Beetlejuice sounded like a fucking Louisiana used tire shop employee. Yeah. Man, y'all, here's the goddamn deal. Yeah. You want to come on down? Goddamn. <laughs> Beetlejuice is coming to class. I'm going to teach you all yeah. the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, so everything you need to know. <laughs> Who was that again? Like Dustin Hoffman or something? Uh, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. No. Okay. Michael Kiefer? Kiefer from- Sutherland? Keith or Sutton? No, it was Michael Keaton. I almost told Tony to look that up. Michael no, Keaton. I'm sitting here right Michael, now. Michael Keaton. The reflex. Hey, could, could you do that again, but it was Martin Phillips? <laughs> 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 uh, you know. I love Martin Phillips. You yeah. guys might have seen Martin Phillips. He's Michael a Michael Keaton. Sorry. 
You were right. Yeah, it was Michael. I didn't Keaton. mean to interrupt. Sorry. You guys might have seen. Uh, I'll tell a little cute, little cutesy, sweet little story about Martin Phillips. I uh, checked my mail today. You guys might know Martin Phillips from the Kill Tony podcast. He's a Golden Ticket winner. Legend. He's got. Yeah, he's a legend. He's one of our mutual friends. We started with Martin. It was me, Martin, and Rudy. We were fucking. We were like the OG squad. Dude, yeah, for man, a bit. Steve's, dude. Dude, that was the that was the OG squad. And then Martin. I work, you know, I'm helping out with the Kill Tony podcast, and Martin's a fucking golden ticket. Yeah. So whenever it's me and Martin, we're in the mothership. Oh, And it's like, yeah. it's crazy yeah. because we were just two kids from Newport News in Yorktown. Can you believe that shit? And dude? now yeah. we're in, you know, we're in Austin, Texas, and we're doing, like, comedy. Sh- we're, yeah. Like, we both started doing stand-up in the same scene yeah. from the same school district. At one point in my life, I went to the same school district as Martin, dude. York it's, like, County, down yeah. to that. Yeah. 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 And, and both of you have gone up and fucking decimated. Yeah. Right? There, there's been, so it's, there's we're like nothing. like the pride and joy of where dude, we're from, dude. I love watching that shit. I love uh, like seeing clips of you guys on there. So he writes, dude, that. I checked my mail today. This motherfucker, Martin Phillips, pull up some, go to Martin Phillips' Instagram <laughs> so I can show the people who's listening. Y'all need to go watch, go, go check you out Martin. You gotta follow this fucking go guy. Go follow too. this guy. Pull up his Instagram. I'll show you. <laughs> And it'll make this story way fucking funnier <laughs> if the listeners just know who my who our very good friend Martin Phillips is. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna have him next. Yeah, dude. I'm sure. gonna have him next. I wish he was here right now. He's in D.C. right now. Oh yeah. So he when is. he comes He's back, back I'm gonna have him, and I'm gonna I'll drop these subsequently. Yeah, I'm dude. gonna put them together back to back. He did a joke where he goes, uh, "I uh, I suffer from two forms of MD: uh, muscular dystrophy and massive dick." Mm-hmm. And then everyone and laughs. That was some shit I told him when I was drunk. I came oh, home yeah. and I was like, "Yo, you should say MD stands for massive dick syndrome." <laughs> <laughs> and then he fucking went up and did it, and it fucking destroyed. That's it. hilarious. I think dude. one of his first kill Tony minutes is when he yeah. did, he did that on one. That's of That's when they gave him the golden ticket. I think that was like one of the first time. Yeah, you guys need to go see Mar- uh, what's his Instagram. Scroll up, guys. Go follow Martin Phillips comedy on Instagram. I think that's what it's called. Scroll up. What's his at? Martin Phillips Comedy, one word. Yeah, Martin Phillips Comedy, one word. Go follow him. Killer. So let's play a Martin clip real quick. Yeah. Just... Oh, shit. I, dude, play the one about the Hogwarts. That one right there uh, with the, the little gate in the back there, the white gate to the right there. I'm sorry. I'm blind and dumb. Yeah. Where is it at? White gate? Is it down? Right there. Right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Play that, that one. one's good. Martin, you're It was, uh, what Hogwarts house you were in. And yeah, and people were like, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. And then I said, um, Harry Potter, is it fucking real? Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm like, John, okay? nobody here has worn the sorting hat, okay? <laughs> like, Losers. <laughs> And they said, oh, wait, didn't you say you were a Jedi? I was like, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> I was born a Jedi. <laughs> that's I'm cool. Okay? That yeah, guy so uh, I checked, laugh so I checked hard, my man. mailbox, all right, and I got a Christmas card from old Martin <laughs> Phillips. And I knew it was from Martin because the handwriting looked the way he sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Just squiggly as shit. This fucking super oh, heartfelt fucking Christmas card saying thanks for all the help and yeah. all your guidance since I moved here. Yeah. We need to hang out more. Yeah. Martin, Martin Phillips. <laughs> like, just scribbled at the very bottom. <laughs> Love, Martin. Just right there yeah. at the bottom. That's and I'm so like, sweet. dude, that's fucking awesome. And it means so much to me yeah. that Martin wrote this letter because you can really see he struggled right yeah now. you can dude. physically see the effort <laughs> you can see how hard he was working to write this yeah and i'm like damn this dude writes that guy be writing his ass off he really does martin dude. martin will write me into a dude yeah martin will write me into a hole i can't even dude i can't guy, write like that that guy writes, writes. Time, yeah. and it's like how many of those did he do you know, oh, how many of those did he send out? So he how sent- many hours was he Yeah, he at probably the table? cranked out like 40 Christmas cards at the <laughs> crib. Just fuck. So he- like, it's nothing. And I'm over here like, I I try to <laughs> riff a new joke every week at my podcast. Yeah. Fucking Martin's he's, fucking he's like, stone cold killer. I'm getting this shit done. Well, so I know. For, so he sent me one too, right? He and, sent and, you a Christmas card? Yeah. What did it and, say? And uh, he had a little heartfelt thing in there, you know, whatever, which was really nice. But it's like the cover of it had, uh, it was a. Uh, obviously a Christmas card, and there was an angel blowing a trumpet, right? And then he wrote, 
uh, with like musical notes around it, back that ass up. <laughs> so that's, he was trying to say the angel was playing that on her trumpet, which was really <laughs> funny. That's hilarious. Yeah, dude. So he's at a, in the he's like in a. I know he said something along the lines of, I know it's not much, but it's handwritten, so I figured that's worth something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, it dude. is, buddy. When you're doing it, yeah, that's dude. a fucking, you know, that's labor. He struggled through that shit, too. It struggled, yeah, it was very squiggly. Yeah, dude. But I could read it. Yeah. Squiggly, but I could read it. Yeah. Much like when I'm listening to him. His <laughs> voice is, 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 he speaks in cursive, but I understand. He speaks in cursive, exactly. He speaks dude. in cursive. But I, wow. Put that down in case you have to do a roast battle with him. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I will, dude, if me and Martin roasted each other, oh, oh my that would God. Be great. I need to get him in the, yeah. He would get oh, you good. Is- Dude, yeah, because it because that's a classic matchup. It's like minority versus handicapped person. That's always a level playing field. Yeah, it's always me versus a white guy, and then they make fun of me for being Asian yeah. for fucking fifteen minutes, and I lose. And I'm like, you never know. <laughs> yeah, like I can I can write as many jokes as I want, but dude, we're in Texas. And you you been have you ever been an Asian dude in a roast battle? Yeah, yeah, like we're in Texas, and exactly, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's hard. You ever been an Asian dude in a roast? Battle? It's very <laughs> yeah. difficult. Yeah, for sure. You know, you know, it might be fun for you to come out just dressed as a full geisha, dude. That I was thinking about, like, how do I beat it? And, and then, it's like, like go ste- ahead, fully Give steering in, get in front yeah, of. Yeah, if I go out there in full like Amazon yeah. samurai armor, just yeah. go <laughs> drop six grand on some uh, yeah samurai yeah, yeah, armor yeah, yeah, yeah. on Amazon and just come and out with a full ponytail, Asian voice, like the whoa, you know. Yeah, yeah. Pull a fucking sword out, yeah. like as he's finishing his joke, just yeah. have the sword pointed at him, like. <laughs> Finish, finish joke. Finish. <laughs> yeah. Shink. Finish. They'd be like, "Oh, Mike is so Asian." Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I got nothing. Sword you know? drawn. Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> finish. This is kind of an interesting, uh, Martin thing. Um, and I, I know you were there for this. Uh, we were supposed to. I was supposed to roast battle him years ago, right? Oh. But then I. That to I had something else pop up. I had to go out of town, so he thought I just pussied out and I didn't mm. do it. So he was very upset with me because he had already written all his jokes about me. So we went to Kazi's, and he asked the host if he could go after me. So I went up and I did my horse shit, and then he was like, "Rudy's a bitch" because we we're supposed to do a roast battle, but then he dropped out. So here are the jokes that I was gonna do. Nice. And he did five minutes of all the jokes he was gonna do. He fucking ripped it. Got a standing <laughs> ovation. At all at my I expense. I think I saw that. You were there that night. I yeah. think I was there. Get That's the thing. There was a, there's some beautiful, there were some beautiful times that we had. So at that little good, dude. Kazi's Comedy Club. That little. Club. That's why I can never. I'm forever like I love, tied to that place. I the, love that place. The, he had a joke where he goes up. Uh, uh, Rudy's man boobs are so big. Uh, when, whenever there's babies around, they get hungry. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, got some titties, dude. You got some You got some, <laughs> fucking, goes, Rudy, you got some uh, cups on you, Rudy. Yeah, yeah, well, I ain't going to lie, you know. dude. You got some big you know what I mean? I'm working on it. They, uh, <laughs> but then he had like this. He had, uh, he had a thing. He goes, Rudy uh, shops at Banana Republic because he was born in one. Yo, oh, shit. Because you're African, dude. Yeah, because I'm African. It was a whole thing. It was, it was great. Uh, That's a deep cut. Yeah, right? It's a good joke. Damn, Rudy. Yeah. What's the meanest roast joke you ever wrote, Rudy? The meanest one that I've ever wrote? Uh, see, that's the thing. I'm not a mean guy. So, like, whenever I do roast... Okay, so I did this. There was, there, was, there was one... I was uh, I was talking about a guy, my buddy. Um, I'm, I'm good friends with him, but uh, uh, it was... Um, Oh God, I can't remember it. I have it written down somewhere. Maybe I should find it. Let me find it. Give me, give me a second. Yeah. Can I Michael do wants it? to do his. Yeah, yeah. I had a pretty. Uh, here's a pretty brutal one. Damn, Rudy, for a guy your size, it's pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, you're fat. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty good one? No, no, I have it. It's right here. Oh, okay. Uh, it's crazy how much Rudy weighs when he eats a strict diet of whatever bugs he finds in his brother's hair. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy how you can get that big on a diet like that. Oh uh, shit! Because I'm yeah. I'm calling you. Uh, I'm I'm being racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I I got that. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you do minorities, <laughs> it's fun. But I, I thought you were saying the meanest roast joke we've written about someone else. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I was, oh. Well, right. oh, I don't know. Yeah, you could roast. Get, well, now you owe Michael one. So yeah, you gotta now you got to get, get, get him right now real quick. Damn it. Okay. I got to go Asian. 
Yeah. yeah oh, you I, have to. Yeah, go. I yeah went he black. went low. He went you black. have. To. Yeah. I went black. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. God, I got. I'm, I'm on the spot. I got nothing. All right. Oh, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You're gonna up. find. You're gonna find I'm that gonna one. Up, I'm, yeah, I'm I should do mini roast battles on the podcast. Oh, that would be. Great. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be great. Crazy. I. I. Let me tell me what you guys think of this joke. It was a buddy of mine. Uh, I go like this. He goes. Uh, I say the guy's name. Uh, this person still wears Fubu. Right, no one wears that anymore. Right, this person's fashion sense is so outdated. The cotton in his clothing was picked by slaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah, yeah that old that swag on, dude. I have another one here where I go. Uh, this person has never watched the movie Roots. He's a black guy. Right, he goes. Uh, he also doesn't respond to the name Toby unless you're a Booker. Oh shit! Oh, God. Right. Oh. One out of two isn't bad, right? Yeah, I thought the was uh, that a mean one. The first one though was that mean. I thought, no, I that thought was, the that concept. Was I thought the concept of Fubu being so old that it used slave cotton. Yeah. That was pretty. Yeah. fucking good. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty dude. fucking good, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not really a roast battle guy. Though. I think I'm too nice. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised nobody's uh, called my dick a silkworm. <laughs> I think that would be a funny roast. Yeah, that would be Calling good. an Asian dude's dick a silkworm, that's yeah. funny. <laughs> people say brutal shit to me. People say brutal shit to yeah. me. <laughs> I think for me, people, you know, my, my buddy uh, ro- did a roast battle against me, and the whole time he was just making jokes about me be- having AIDS because I'm from Africa. <laughs> uh, and, like, he, he goes, um, you know, I, I met Rudy when he lived in Africa. I couldn't recognize him here because he didn't have flies around him. Oh my uh, god! That's one thing. Which is <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. I didn't recognize him without the flies. With the flies around him, yeah. yeah I couldn't recognize him uh, without the bloated stomach <laughs> and the flies walking on the surface of his eye. That's right. That's crazy. Yeah, it was. It was nuts. But See, the crowd loved it. Are you Are you grateful to have escaped? Th- where are you from? Tell the people what part of Africa you're I'm, from. I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo. You know what I'm saying? DRC. Okay. We we left when I was really young. We left because there was uh, pillaging happening. Like there was a, a, Crazy. The, like a, a civil war basically had started. And like we were lucky because, uh, you know, my dad worked for the government. So we escaped. We went to South Africa, Botswana for a few years. Then we came here to the States when I was like nine. Um, and yeah, things got worse over there. How old are you now? 36 years young. You're 36 and, old. Uh, you're 36 years old and you escaped con- the Congo. You escaped Africa 27 years ago. War torn super war. I mean, dude, that's when, crazy to me. When we le- like by two th- so we left in 96. But we got to America in 96. We left in 92. By 2001, the place was like there were some areas in the DRC that were the most dangerous in the world. Jesus it was fucking Christ. ridiculous. So, I mean, yeah, I'm super grateful for that. I remember when I was a kid, um, my brother, one time, we had a house with a gate. My mom had told my brother to go out and close the gate. And for some reason, I went out with him. No bullshit. Like, I saw my brother trying to close a gate and a couple military guys holding a, a gun at him. I was like five. I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe he was good with his, you know what I mean, the shit he was saying because they let him go <laughs> and we just returned back to the house. But I do remember looking at my brother with someone holding a gun on him. I'm Please sure do not happened. shoot you. <laughs> I am just, my mother told me to come out here and shut the gate. Please do not shoot me. <laughs> look at my little. I mean, they had a little Haiti in there. Look at my little yeah. brown, my little brown fat brother here. He's only <laughs> five years old. Please let us go back in the house. Please put the guns down. Did he say something like that? Something like that, yeah. That's crazy. That's actually exactly what he said. Please, please, do not shoot me. Put the guns away. I'm just a little boy. I'm just a little boy. Look at my brother. He's fat as fuck. He's only five years old. Look at the titties. Look at the titties. He's just a boy. Oh, shit. We're going back inside now. Please. It's the, it's the, the little things that you've mastered, dude. That's it's crazy. hilarious. Because the way you say boy, boy, little put, boy. He is just a little boy. Please. <laughs> I gotta say, dude, you really are a prodigy with the fucking with the, fucking, uh, the impressions whoever I, and shit, whoever dude. I wanna You're be. so good at it, dude. Whoever. That's great. Yeah. Hey, Freeze, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just shutting the gate. My mom, she told me go out here. Look at my brother. Look at. <laughs> That's crazy that you guys had to escape that. Fuck. Yeah, we're so lucky, man. There's so many people who stayed and uh, and Damn. who wanted to escape who didn't. Damn, you're living that Resident Evil Five. I'm telling you, dude, I don't even know it. Dude, you know, people crazy. have to tell me that I scared. Like I, 
I don't remember the shit. Like I remember just some of it. I remember the cool parts. Now I remember you, the struggle. But your mom and your pops got you here. Yeah, man. You became an engineer, yep. and then you also, Civil. yeah, you became an engineer, and now you fucking, you're telling jokes, and That's you're right. in Austin, Texas with me. Hell yeah, dude. And my fucking, you know, my family, my mom. Yeah, bro. Grew up in the, grew up in the Philippines during mm. the 60s and 70s, very poor, and then, you know, when she was like in her mid-20s, she met my dad, he was stationed over there, boom. Yeah. My mom got out of there, she fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our parents... Made a lot of sacrifices for us to have the freedom that we have now. 100%. And it's like, I lost my mom, mm -hmm. and she made so many sacrifices for me, you know yeah, what I'm saying? And sure. now we're able, like, they live on, my mom was one of the funniest fucking people really? in the world. Yeah. My mom was fucking hilarious. Yeah, man. And um, I, her humor, that light of her, that yeah. shit lives on through me, though. 100%. I take a lot after my mom, dude. 100%. Yeah. Like, the energy, the passion bipolar yeah. <laughs> manic depressive that's right uh anger yeah. <laughs> funny loving friend fucking all the bad all the good yeah. i get a lot of that from my mom dude and that's awesome man she's dude she lives on through me dude yeah people sure. people fuck with me dude my mom had a lot of friends everyone yeah. loved my mom yeah and i see that with me it's like dude i have a lot of friends and people love me yeah and it's like dude it's like there's so much of her that lives on through me yeah and especially through this, yeah. and two like a like a month or so before she passed away, she told me to be an entertainer. Oh, she really? sat me down and like we weren't on the best terms, dude. But she was like, I don't know, I just she was doing laundry, folding laundry or something. She was like, yeah. I don't know, I think you should just, I think you should be entertaining for sure. How old were you when, when she you passed? Away? She was, yeah. I was fifteen. Fifteen, okay. I was fifteen when I lost my mom, and she fucking told me to be an entertainer, yeah. and. Uh, it's awesome her to know that that was like a really nice way of being like, hey, you're smart, but you're a dumbass. Yeah, you're not good at math. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't have a scholar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's definitely the talented one. So yeah. if they can figure, if they can, if we can figure out what the fuck to make him do to make yeah. money. Learn how to juggle, bitch, or something. Yeah, yeah. Learn how to. <laughs> you learn don't... how to. Here, uh, unicycle. And. Here, take the unicycle, now take the bowling pin. <laughs> Start juggling the bowling pin. Look, he's talented. He's a clown. <laughs> my son is a clown. Look at my son. <laughs> my son, the drunk, sad clown. Look, look, look. That was yeah. yeah. My mom knew that I was That's supposed to be a fucking though, goober, dude. She knew. I mean, it's it's. Uh, she I mean, knew I was a professional goob, dude. You know what you're saying too about about uh kind of your, you know, your parents. Uh, elements of them living on through you is it's true it's very true i mean i i, I see that too kind of with my my parents and stuff yeah you know, yeah uh, it's uh that's kind of kind of one of those things it's crazy yeah. to see i think as like we're the children of immigrants mm -hmm. and we're also like brothers in comedy yeah it's really cool to see like think of all the think of all the trials and tribulations and think of all the fucking hardship and yeah. obstacles that were overcame yeah. for you just to exist and have a chance at what, Bro. at this. It was absolutely right. nuts. Right. Yeah. They, they and were, then we, and then, yeah. you know how we repay our parents? <laughs> we started doing stand-up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking escape like poverty in my, my the parents, third world. I'm and how do we <laughs> repay them? How do they re yeah. Man, you ever be, you yeah. know, when you be out there doing what you right. do, why you be doing what you be doing it? You ever be doing that shit right? <laughs> so, 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 what, what your hoe? Your hoe was sucking your shit from Man, behind, right? Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. You know that, you know, yeah. if you if you fucking that pussy good, it's yeah. going to talk to you now. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You fuck that pussy good, that pussy going to talk back to you now. Like that, that yeah. pussy gonna be talking. You know you killing that pussy yeah. when that pussy screaming, my boy. That pussy gonna uh, beatbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's crazy that uh, <laughs> our parents true. went through all that they, just so you can my, fuck around on stage. Dude, it's 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 <laughs> they they spent. That's all. This my folks too. Like they sacrificed everything. Right. For for like yeah for just. Us to have normal lives, mm -hmm. and, and then uh, we don't so have this. Yeah, we don't have. Normal we don't have all, normal ass yeah. lives at all. We have like this crazy weird life. <laughs> that That's why I'm still holding talk. on to this engineer nonsense. Yeah, I still got it's, my day job too. At some point, I'm gonna. I gotta fucking. It'll break away. It's yeah. getting. You know, I got my day job too, and I'm very grateful for them. Yeah, I'm for grateful sure. for them because I can have both of. 
I can have my work and my play. Yeah. And I'm fucking, I worked all week. I was mm. sick. I was in the house. I've been depressed. I want to go out and do stand up. This is the happiest I've been all week. Oh, hell yeah. Because I'm finally out of the house. I'm feeling better. Yeah. It's 2024. I'm mm. fucking trying to, um, you know, I know that they're, I can't imagine, you know what I mean? I couldn't, I couldn't fathom everything that happened this year. Yeah. All right. All the good shit that's happened this year. Yeah. Break it down. Give us, give us a couple milestones you hit this year. A mile, couple milestones yeah. I hit this year. Uh, a year sober doing stand up, just doing stand up in general. Getting we'll booked shows. Every set that I do is ten to fifteen minutes long. Okay, yeah. I'm always able. I'm I'm all I'm in breathing room workout. Yeah. I'm working out stand up with breathing room. I'm okay. fucking you know slowing down, working shit out. Or it's a hot fire electric sets. I'm, I'm slowly discovering what kind of set I want it to be whenever I want it without alcohol. I can be a high energy, low energy. It's whatever I want. Yeah. I have. I'm I like slowly that. gaining control. Yeah. Something, like that. dude. This is the most progress I've made in a year. In a year, yeah. Yeah, you know, doing a. <clears throat> and I didn't realize you weren't here. You came. So when did you come here? Like uh, early last year. I visited May of twenty two. Okay. I moved here November of twenty two. Yeah. And it's okay. been a year and some change since oh, I moved here. Yeah. And fucking couple of paychecks from Comedy Mothership. Thank yeah. you to everybody there. I love yeah. you guys. A fucking everybody at the Mothership loves me. You got some hot Sunset Kiltoni Strip. Sets. A couple of hot Kill Tony appearances. I mean, Not the most recent one, but it's all good. That one I'm sure was fine. It, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's whatever. The fucking, you know, everybody at Sunset loves me. People at Creek love me. Yeah. My fucking wife, my beautiful wife yeah, made cookies for bad, everybody. Yeah, she made cookies. That was for, awesome. Yeah, she literally <laughs> made cookies for the entire scene. Yeah. So like, That's I was fucking awesome. handing out, you know what I mean? And you know what's funny? Hmm. You started dating her when I moved. Yeah, you moved away. I started seeing and then her. That's yeah. What you said. And, and yeah, she's I mean, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Comedy is literally like you said. Like if you didn't do an open mic, right? Yeah, dude, I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be yeah. married. And it's like I live in this timeline, right, where my mom's not here with me anymore. Mm -hmm. But dude, understanding your life is looking at it through the lens of the past. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're looking at the. You look if if you look back. Shit starts making more sense. Ooh. And although my mom's not here with me anymore, I pick this one every time. Damn, man. There's one where I'm like a fucking super rich billionaire or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. But, like, I think this is the the one that I'm living right now. This yeah. is the best version. Yeah. And this is the best it's ever been. Because 10 years ago, I was homeless and you were taking me to open mics. Yeah. And now, yeah. like, dude, literally I met my wife through comedy. I found, Fuck. dude, I found so much of... I found out who I was and what I was supposed to be by doing that first open mic. Fuck. Ten man. years ago, fresh out of jail, homeless, and went to Kazi's Comedy Club, the same club that we started at. Yeah. And now fast forward ten years, I'm fucking... I walk down the street here, and people fucking dap me up and tell me that they love me, and they fucking Damn. recognize me, and people are sweet, and it's like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. This is crazy to me, because yeah. I had no direction in my life before this. Yeah. And the more energy and yeah, time, you were, you were lost young. I man. was a lost young <laughs> man, yeah, and the dude. more energy I put into this, <laughs> yeah. the more life would be like, oh, Ridley, you're pressing all the right buttons. Here's yeah. the next portion. Yeah. Here's the next portion. Here's the next portion. So I understand my life now. Yeah, for sure. I understand my life, standing for where I am right now, and, and then looking, looking back, back at the last 15 years. Damn. And yeah. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like. I'm 30 now. What's it gonna be like when I'm 45? <sighs> Arenas. Big old bus with my face on it. Yeah. Taylor's yeah. got a Taylor's got a one ear Bluetooth headset everywhere. Yeah. He's yelling at people. Yeah. yeah. No, it'll be like, really nice actually. Yeah. Taylor's gonna be. Yeah. Taylor's gonna be handling it. Handling shit. Mister really wants the steak. All right. Not even yeah, that. Bro. Not even that. Like just I'm trying to get everybody. Every, I want to get the homies out of the hood. Yeah. Go do fun shit. Yeah. And create this huge thing. And yeah. For be sure. like, look, all my friends are funny. These are the people that are. You know what I mean. That. I hang yeah. out with that I enjoy and I think you'll like too and then yeah. we're just traveling traveling making friends and yeah. crushing and selling out shows yeah <laughs> that's really what I want I for just sure want, yeah I, I mean that. dude you're you're closer to it than I think you even know I, 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 it's you know I don't yeah and I'm always minimizing so so I'm always minimizing my achievements too before you came here though you before you, when you were in Virginia like the last year that you were there you weren't doing this num this many sets or you weren't going up and ripping it 10 15 minutes at a time or anything like you weren't doing that there just weren't really a lot of venues to do that at okay wasn't a lot of spots weren't a lot of bookers damn i don't know why to me 
it <laughs> it feels like you've been here for like three years, but maybe that's that's just it's the amount of that's progress. What I was gonna say too. It's yeah. the amount yeah. of progress that can be made in this short amount of time. Yeah, I it feels right. like three years of progress, but it's been one year. Damn, it's a lot of like, dude, all this. All this, st- all the time I spent in Virginia before I moved here was all fuck around time to prepare me for right for now. For the right now, yeah. And, and this is I awesome because I'm, I'm not yeah. gonna, I know shit, but I'm still learning. Yeah. This is my first real scene. I, yeah. We were small, small town people Super basically. Small, yeah. We basically are like a small town comedy scene type shit, and then now we're here, yeah. and you can literally, dude, you can go up on stage thirty times a week here. Yeah. If you really want to, you, you can do to. that. And I mean, I'm not here to knock how anyone else would do it, but yeah. like, if you want to do thirty mics a week, sure. I personally think that I can spend more time writing and yeah. take more advantage of those longer sets that I have. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. should write more and then take advantage of those longer sets I have by working in the material. And really I don't get have to it. go to open mics to, you know what I mean? It doesn't help. It doesn't hurt, yeah. but it it also isn't too much of help when, you know, you know the quality. Well, you'll see the quality of open mic here is not <laughs> of which uh the way it was when back home. Yeah. Because even then like it would be 40 people. There, well, yeah, the Kazi's yeah. open mic was killer. It was killer. There were yeah. times where it was like, in its in its peak and in, in its heyday for me, I could go there. Like I said, like like we said before, just go show up and riff. Yeah, riff five minutes. It's crazy. What would happen if I was recording all this time? Yeah, yeah. That's what kills me. Is like, what if I was recording all my sets back when I would just go up super low stakes and riff five yeah. minutes and crush. Yeah. How, where would I be if I record? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I record. I record all my sets now. You don't have any of those? Hmm? You don't have any of those? What, when I first started? Yeah. It's like six videos, maybe. <laughs> it's, dude, yeah. But like or, full videos? Uh, yeah, who knows? Uh, so and it, you and then you go back and you're like, yeah, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go back, I'm like, oh, it's two years in. There's the nothing to be found in there's nothing. Pr- yeah, there's nothing to be proud of. Like, nope. it, fe- it feels worse. Like, it kind of ruins the memory when you go back and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's an old set started. of mine that you yeah. recorded. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you remember this. 2015, it was the when those they were doing showcases at Kazi's, right? I think on you did Sundays? the first. Oh, no, on Thursdays, mm. uh, they were just they started randomly doing showcases. You get booked for a 10 minute spot from the open mic. Yeah, I remember that. Right, and I think you were on the first one. And mm-hmm. you were a Me and guys. Martin were both on that. Martin first was one. on that one too. I yeah. have a picture of that. It's the yeah. The the, the, <laughs> the showcase was called the Future Stars of Comedy. That was the name of the showcase. And that. Me and Martin were on that. Show. Yeah, that was fun. And look at you guys now. <laughs> right? yeah. Isn't that crazy? So I did the second one, and yeah. you were there, and you you taped it. Yeah. And uh, there was a clip of it that I used, but um, I remember like you having the video, and I never got a chance to hit you up for that, but you probably don't have it anymore. I Else. have it. You, do you have it? It's private on my YouTube channel. Oh, hell yeah, dude. So maybe maybe yeah. that's it. There's a video of you yeah. on my YouTube. I was a little that's, drunk labeled it has a lock on it it's labeled private yeah, your name. yeah i think yeah i didn't delete it i just private it yeah, dude. so yeah. maybe we'll watch that after this i'm trying to i wouldn't put you that. on blast and be like, yeah let's put it up here <laughs> oh no so please. 100 at least 150 <laughs> people will see it and that's so fucking cool that we have at least 150 let's people go. checking yeah. out radio ridley radio dude Hell we're just yeah. growing dog right. this shit's growing and you're here on the ground you're here on the ground floor you're learning so much about me and my yeah. one of my very good friends rudy here dude like this Hell is yeah. that shit like this is a hang yeah. Like when you're on my show, we're just hanging out. Just hanging out. And the people watching, bro, you're like homies. Y'all are hanging out too. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I just want people here for the hang, dude. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit of shit if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. What do you want to talk shit uh, about? Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Right? I'm loving it. Do right? Did you see I'm the whole interview? It. No, I what haven't happened? watched it. I don't know what happened. He's like outing a bunch of people, like Sean Diddy and shit. But yeah. you say he's saying a bunch of uh, sus ass shit about yeah. fucking well, he's just telling the truth, really. Basically, is what, what it he's is. he's outing Hold all these ho- he's outing all the <laughs> he's airing a bunch of dirty laundry about all these rich and famous people. He's now that the, now that the Epstein list is out, it just turned him on. It activated. Cat oh William. yeah, I think yeah. That is why. That's what happened. He's like, <laughs> yeah. well, if we're telling on everybody, then I'm telling on everybody. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. <laughs> he said Harvey Weinstein was gonna suck his dick one time. Y'all motherfuckers <laughs> be sucking pee pee to get where you're at, and I never sucked pee pee to get where I'm at. <laughs> You notice how Cat Williams, when he's serious, he'll, and I, yeah, yeah. I'll talk like this. Oh, yeah, I saw him yeah. talking really about how he kept his point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He That's sounds a, like a fucking uh, a, a Juilliard actor. When people, yeah, when people do the Cat Williams impression, they're doing, like, the onstage Cat Williams. No, yeah. I never gave up my booty hole. My, my booty hole is still virgin. I'm Cat Williams. That's right. That's how he's talking in this interview. He's yeah. like, I'm still a virgin. So I'm grateful. <laughs> I had to turn down $50 million three times. Three times, yeah. but my asshole is still virgin. 
<laughs> nobody, nobody put their thumb in my booty hole. And that's crazy. Is like Cat Williams is having this conversation. And this is like some insider shit. Yeah. And he's just like, bro, we're recording. Everybody, the whole thing. yeah. Turn, turn the, the the audio on. I'm gonna tell on some people, dude. I would. I haven't watched it. Can you? So I, me? I only saw the first twenty minutes, but it was a very riveting <laughs> twenty minutes. So I, I'm not even the first <laughs> yeah. to talk about. Yeah. But I will say this. He, he said uh, within the first twenty minutes. In the first twenty minutes. Here's what I gathered. Right. The, um. He, he, he has some issue with Ricky Smiley. Right. Okay. And he goes. He says Ricky Smiley is only funny if he's dressed like a woman. He doesn't know how to act like a man. Right. So he, he, he had a, a contract. Where he said, if Ricky Smiley's in any movie that I'm in, he has to be in a dress. He oh. wrote that in his contract. <laughs> and if you go back and look, the movies that he's in with Ricky Smiley, Ricky Smiley's in a dress. Which is hilarious. What a what a hilariously you know, petty it's thing funny to if, do to if that was just a coincidence and Kat is just like, Yeah, let's <laughs> let's been... tell these motherfuckers that he's wearing a dress because I put it I wrote it and therefore it was so. <laughs> yeah. I put it down on paper and so it was reality. I that's, <laughs> that's yeah, how right? he tell you, that's how he'll fucking talk. <laughs> yeah. he's, I've Damn. alchemized every moment up until now. <laughs> Everything is all by design. And I'll tell you this. I had to turn $50 million down three times, and my booty hole is, I'm still a virgin. I'm still a virgin. Nobody ever entered my hole? anus. No one has ever penetrated me. I'm Cat Williams. I've been in this game for a long time. I've been in. <laughs> I've seen many things, and I've kept my uh, mouth shut for far too long. <laughs> it's crazy that that is like. Yeah. 2024 starts with Cat Williams basically being like, y'all motherfuckers here because you did gay shit. Yeah, yeah, All y'all yeah. was sucking dick and putting penis in your booty hole. You were signing checks and throwing neck. You was, <laughs> you motherfuckers was out here. I got the paperwork. I've got the documents that can prove everything that I'm saying. These motherfuckers was taking it in their ass. They was bad boy records, more like gay boy records. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Bad boy entertainment, no gay boy entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Those motherfuckers were making movies, Jack. <laughs> Those motherfuckers were making movies, Jack. Like, it's a show. <laughs> this is my yeah. not on stage Cat Williams impression. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, yeah, pretty that's good. Very that good. Was really good. I, I like were him. Yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah. you close your eyes. Yeah, yeah. I heard him say in that same segment of the interview where he was talking about, uh, where he was talking about, the the fifty million dollars that he was like, and I didn't hang out with Diddy because Diddy likes to party. <laughs> <laughs> That's what and by party, I mean put his penis in your butthole. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. By party, I mean homosexual activities yeah. behind closed doors. Yeah. By party, I mean dry anal rape. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. By party, I mean gay shit to get ahead, and I never <laughs> had to do any gay shit to get ahead because I. <laughs> That's dude, what a fucking badass. Dude, pretty I, good. I, I, really, badass, I love that dude, dude so much more because of this. Yeah. You I, know, like I don't I don't know what he's standing to gain <laughs> by by outing people all nothing. Get, you know, but nothing. I, you know what he's I'd he, respect the petty person. No, 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 no. You know what he gains from this? Yeah. The fucking high ground. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's fucking uh, You've built a castle on a foundation of lies. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. Can you believe the? Fu- oh, sorry. Go ahead. You know, no, you you built a castle on a foundation of sand, and my truth is the wave of water that will expose all that gay shit y'all been doing. <laughs> I'm Cat Williams. Oh shit, dude! Come down from your ivory penis tower. <laughs> y'all a- sucked white dick to get yeah, where you are. He's a white guy. Yeah, white cr- penis. Yeah, that's crazy. Him calling that fat lady out was funny too. On the radio? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on down to... They're selling Newports and, and $14 worth of her jewelry that or something. He was that making. shit was he, Yeah, he was like, he was like, uh, only, he was like, calm down, baby. Only one of us has $50 worth of jewelry on. Bro. Oh, shit. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> shit. Yeah. He said something about uh, putting $20 on something, and then that's how much her jewelry is. Come Plus on down. A, yeah. a thing of Newports or some shit. Uh, right? Yeah. Damn, dude. Should yeah, for somebody who doesn't, for somebody who isn't gay, he definitely will tear you down like a gay dude. dude that's all I was, I was telling. Cat someone, Williams he tears you like a black woman. Yeah, Cat Williams sounds like a gay dude tearing you apart. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yes, honey, all, all that shit. No, honey, best believe I am. <laughs> He's very <laughs> yeah. performative. You know, I, I, one of my favorite Cat Williams insults. Uh, he was on Wild and Out, and he, he had like a fashion, he had like a hair style or whatever. He had a hat on. 
And some dude was making fun of his, ha- his hat. Yeah, his hair looked like mine with a <laughs> yeah. Von Dutch. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, a yeah, Von, yeah. He always wears a, he always would wear like a Von Dutch on fuck. <laughs> Dude, I have yeah. I have Cat Williams' <laughs> hair. I have it right. It, Hell yeah, dude. I have the hairline and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's your boy. Eats Cat Williams. I'm. Uh, I'm the Cat I'm Williams. the Chinese Cat Williams. <laughs> well, he the the guy was every making fun day of, all the time. He was making fun of his hat, but the dude was a big like a fat dude. Yeah. So he goes, if you don't like my hair, well, then I could wear a hat. But you're broke and you're fat. There's no hat for that. <laughs> and I, yeah, that was one of the most epic fucking slams I've ever heard. Because it's so simple and to the point. But it Yeah, hurts. that was a cat in the hat, Williams, right there. Jesus the Christ, hat. dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. No, that's crazy, dude. Where are we at on time, old Taylor? Oh, uh, we're. I mean, we're, we did 38 before the, the piss, the piss break. And then we did... Uh, Forty six just now. Hell yeah, man! This so is incredible. Sleep, yeah, we dude. could. Yeah, we we could keep you know going man? because you guys you guys have some catching up to do. Yeah, but it's up to you guys. It has been a grip. Yeah, dude, it's been a very long time. But I'm happy to see you in good health. Yeah, man. You know, honestly, you you know you drank a lot and you're very yeah. fat. So yeah. I'm surprised yeah. to see that you're still alive. Still kicking. It's good that you're not dead. You know what I mean? Body by fucking Hennessy and uh, Twizzlers. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. I, I, I am taking taking the health thing more seriously. I'm 36. I'm almost 40. Body you know by Duncan. Body by Duncan, yeah. Uh, my body runs on Duncan. It doesn't run, but it's on Duncan. Um, For sure. But, uh, yeah, so, I'm, yeah, man, working on it, man. Again, it's all about all not, aspects of your life. I'm not too terribly healthy. Yeah. Like, I I'm, I'm don't drink anymore, but I still eat like shit. Yeah. I it's hard, dude, shit. because. Dude, I love to eat like shit. Yeah, dude. Like, the, the hours we keep. Yeah. And the kind of shows we do and all that stuff. You're around alcohol. You're around fucking do- dollar tacos. And if you're not doing that, it's for me, it's nicotine, caffeine, yeah. sweets, junk food, candy, yeah. fucking soda, fucking exactly. energy the, drinks. Yeah. Ah, dude, stay on the energy drinks. Dude, a fucking monster before you go on stage. Yeah, 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 a Red Bull before you go on stage. Yeah. The 16 ounce shit? Yeah, dude. Just oh, a yeah. quick little fucking little can of yeah. little, a little battery. Just drink a <laughs> yeah. little battery. It l- even looks like a, a human battery. Yeah, it really does. Like, energy drinks just look like a little battery, that you, yeah. and it tastes like a fucking battery. Yeah, it's fucking, it tastes like heaven. It tastes like, it's like licking it tastes like. a battery, and then you fucking go up, and you got all that adrenaline, Man. and you're fucking controlled. I love going on stage with like a Red Bull or a Monster and just appearing fucking very chill. Yeah. But I'm vibrating from yeah. all the caffeine and I'm just my brain is nothing is missing. I'm not yeah. miss I'm not misspeaking. Everything's coming out fluid. It's kind of like a duck, a duck Dude. in the water. Yeah, Under I'm just the water, fucking boom. Legs are like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. The top is cool. The surface, I'm just a majestic duck. Yeah, right. But underneath, I'm kicking like crazy. Yeah. We're full. We're yeah. On the surface, you're a duck who doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. And then underneath, you're, you know. Kicking, kicking it like crazy. Like crazy, dude. I, I found this Cat Williams thing if we <coughs> want to end on this or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Never been to prison. Uh, you 19 have felonies, no convictions. Yeah. Knock yeah. it off. Prison okay. and jail aren't the same. Okay. No, no. Okay. No, no, no. Calm, calm no, 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 no. Only calm, one of us has $12 calm, calm worth of jewelry on. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 yeah, he'll definitely, definitely, that definitely With sends goat, home bro. my... Yeah, it definitely sends home my point that Cat Williams sounds like a gay dude cutting you apart. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty I brutal to fucking that. come at. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out to Cat. I'm still a virgin. <laughs> Nobody's put their fingers in my booty hole. <laughs> Guys, thank you for listening to Radio Ridley Radio. I've been your host, Michael Ridley. It's been a fucking pleasure catching up with my Hell boy, Rudy Malumba. Yeah. Love you, fucking dude. This was a... This was like a walk down memory lane, and yeah. we had a couple of we had a couple of funny bits sprinkled here and there. Hell yeah! I think it was a good. Did you have a good time? I had a, a great time. You feel good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can do this every week. Yeah. Are you ready to <laughs> fucking, dude? Are you ready to fucking get some stage time in Austin? And fucking let your nuts dude. hang all over this town. Uh, let, them, let these motherfuckers know who Rudy Malumba Listen, is, dude. Bro, absolutely. Fuck it's been a yeah, long time dude. coming. Fuck yeah! You gotta, you got. I think, I think what's gonna happen is. Something something crazy is gonna happen to you while you're here, and you're gonna be fucking hooked. You're gonna be fucking <laughs> Maybe, shoving yeah. all your shit into a suitcase, fucking ties and t-shirts poking out the side, and you're fucking hightailing it with a fedora on your head like this. Like, I gotta yeah. get the fucking off, dude. I gotta <laughs> dude, get to Austin, gotta... <laughs> dude. I'm moving, Ridley, dude. I'm moving to Austin, dude. No, for real. Oh my god, it's amazing here, dude. Oh, dude, I swear to God, dude. I'm Rudy Malumba. I gotta move to Austin, dude. What the fuck, dude? Florida, dude. 
shit, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> he's a white. It's funny. All he's these a white years, dude. my voice hasn't changed. Huh? All these years, my voice hasn't changed. You're right. No, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> God, dude, Ridley, you're a fucking beast. You're a fucking animal. I don't know why you're always beating yourself up. You're one of the funniest motherfuckers I know. Dude. You're one of, and then I, that shit would replay. Yeah. You are so crucial in the beginning, dude. Yeah, man, I appreciate you. This you too, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, I think we really uh, upheld each other. So I for real, bro, I'm glad you're here. Definitely. You're gonna have fun, and sure. we'll show you around. Oh yeah, buddy. All right, thanks for having me. Adios. Plug your shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Instagram King dot Malumba M U L A M B A, and I got everything on there. You just go to that. Got a link tree. You know what I'm saying? I got some OnlyFans on there, dude. Oh, dude, look at my bit. boobs, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got some of that. So. Sub to my OnlyFans, <laughs> Ebony King Malumba. <laughs> <laughs> OnlyFans.com slash Ebony King Malumba. All one word. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. Holy uh, shit. I'm, uh, that's disgusting. All right, bye, guys. Thank you. Radio Ridley Radio. No pussy ass shit allowed.